Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Star Lords. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day. I'm having a really good day. It's very hot in the UK right now and I am absolutely pouring with sweat. So I hope that you guys have really good weather where you are and that you're just kind of having a really good day. Uh, but anyway, in today's video, what we're actually going to be talking about is five things that the Playground LTM mode has to include when it actually comes out. And you know, it's got a long time until it comes out now. It's, I think it's got like a couple of weeks at, at, at least. Uh, but basically, it would be good for everyone to get their ideas out there already so that Epic Games hears about them and you know, they can actually think, well, you know what, that's a good idea. I want it in my game, I want it in the Playground LTM. So today, I'm going to be giving five things I would love to see in the Playground LTM. Now before we do get into the video guys, please do not forget to leave a like and also do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more Fortnite videos just like this one right here. I do daily Fortnite content guys and you would only be missing out on some really good videos if you didn't already subscribe. Yeah, but anyway, without further ado, let's get into talking about our first thing that I would love to see added to this game, and that is a settings adjustment tool. Now, a lot of people have actually kind of verbalized this, and especially like on Reddit, a lot of them have texted too, that basically what they would love to see added into the Playground LTM is essentially a, basically a menu where you can toggle certain things on and off. And uh, a lot of these are actually pretty cool things. So first off, one of the more obvious things would be a settings adjustment tool for the gravity that is in the game. You know, you could either have low gravity or high gravity, uh, and you could kind of slide it in between like 1, 0, and 2, or something like that to kind of increase it, to decrease it, and all of that kind of stuff. But not only that, we don't want to stop there. We also want the ability to choose exactly how often certain weapons spawn inside the Playground LTM. So for, for example, right, you get a slider list, and uh, the first thing on it is rocket launchers. Then the second one is pistols. The third one is snipe rifles. And basically, let's say, for example, you didn't want any pistols in the game. You could turn the slider down to zero. And if you wanted more rocket launchers around the map, you could turn that up to three so that you could have like you know three times the amount of rocket launchers that are added into the game and you know it would kind of just be the same for every single item and weapon inside the game now other than that a lot of people have said that they would like to adjust kind of health and everything so you know the minute that you come down from the actual thing itself from the battle bus you already have your shield on and everything because of course you know this is just a fun game mode where you can mess around so you know the fact of having to go out and kind of get all of this kind of stuff like medication well, medication? What the heck? Um, getting stuff like, uh, you know, meds and uh, armor and stuff like that, it's kind of a little bit annoying. So I can imagine that a lot of people would really love a tool where you can just say, you know what, I want to toggle on and off shields, health, all that kind of stuff. So that would be really, really cool. Especially, like, if you were doing, like, a sniper game mode where you're trying to get, like, the longest snipe in the game, for example. Like, it would be really cool if you could choose it so that everybody has zero, uh, one health. So that if you do end up hitting, like, the person from across the map uh, you know they would die instantly to make it look a little bit more cooler rather than just getting a hit marker and being like oh no what the heck you know so it makes a sense uh, them adding some sort of settings adjustment tool into the game i really definitely want to see that the next thing that i would like is a really simple ask and that would be the ability to invite more people than just four players of course if you guys haven't really been keeping up to date on this uh, epic games pretty much officially announced the other day that it would only be four players inside this game type ltm and i mean this could change at any point you know uh, like they could say oh, okay we'll allow 15 of your friends to be able to join but sadly as of right now, all we know is that there's only four players available to actually join to actually join into this game itself. So that's very sad indeed. And uh, I would really love it if like they could increase this. Like I invite like my, my viewers, my subscribers, all that kind of stuff. And just kind of make a really fun game mode where everyone can kind of play with me. And uh, you know, we could just kind of mess around and do some crazy glitches and all that kind of stuff. So I really would like to see that come into this game in the future. Now the third thing I would love to see added into the game is yet another customization kind of thing. And this is custom zones and battle buses. So basically, I would love it if you can choose how high the battle bus spawns in, uh, basically where the kind of line will go through, and uh, basically what kind of zones will come across, will you will come across. You know, it'd be really cool if the Playground LTM game mode had certain zones that you could choose. So imagine guys that there was a zone called Tsunami. Basically, the zone isn't a circle, it's actually all over the map as a flat kind of tile, and over time it builds up 
into the sky. So basically, at the end of the game mode, you have to be really high up in the sky rather than inside the zo a circular zone, you know? I know it sounds really crazy, but basically, think of it as water rising on the map. Basically, that is what I would love to have in this game mode. Eventually, once they kind of get it all down to grips and everything, because, you know, obviously, there's going to be multiple versions of the Playground LTM. Like, they're going to adjust it a lot of times, but I would really love if they would kind of think about that, think about adding in some sort of kind of zone customization where, you know, you could have it zone... Uh, vertically or you know anything like that maybe the zone comes down to the from the sky or something I, I don't know that'd be really stupid in my opinion but still you know it still makes sense that I would really love to see that happen um, other than that we're gonna be moving on to the fourth thing I would like to see added into this and that is old vaulted weapons and items to come back so again like I said, there should be some kind of menu where basically it has a lot of toggles in it. So, you know, you could do stuff like toggle big head mode. I would, I mean, even that, I've just thought about that off the top of my head. But I would love that because, you know, it's Playgrounds LTM. So, you know, it implies that it's going to be fun. It's going to be crazy. And if you could toggle like a big head mode, that'd be really cool. I think it'd be funny. Uh, but not only that, like I would love if you could toggle vaulted weapons. Of course, you guys probably know by now that the, uh, the jetpack itself is actually going away. And I would kind of miss it. I'll be honest with you. I mean, we never really got to play around with it that much. And I don't know. I would really like to see it return inside this game mode. As well as some of the different kind of weapons that we've seen over the last couple of months. Such as, you know, the SMGs, for example. The original ones. They, I, I love those weapons. The TAC SMGs were brilliant. And I really want to see them return. Uh, so yeah, again, not a lot of people will actually find that like a really good point. I mean, some you know, if you guys do have a different opinion than mine, please feel free to comment it down below. I mean, obviously, we're all going to be divided on this. I mean, some people are going to like these ideas, some people are going to hate them. And you know what? If you do end up hating them, comment it down below and give me what you would like to see in this added. So yeah, you know, this is a place where everyone can kind of come together and discuss. Uh, but anyway, the last thing that we're going to be talking about and the final thing that I really would like to see added into the Playground LTM is LTMs. Now, that sounds really weird because, you know, Playground is an LTM, but I would love it if you could actually select certain LTMs within the LTM itself. So for example, you know, if you only wanted to see gold weapons spawn, I would love it you could switch it to solid gold, for example. But not only that, you know, you could choose like sniper shootout where it was only hunting rifles and everything like that. And, you know, basically stuff like that. I mean, it just to make it more customizable, more fun, I would love it. And I know for a fact that Playgrounds LTM won't be as customizable as I'm hoping, but I do hope that this kind of video and these ideas kind of give Epic Games a little bit of an idea on what people really want to see with the custom game modes that will hopefully be coming out sometime in the next couple of months. So, you know, this is a very important video and our views need to be heard and they need to be said, more importantly. You know, if you have an opinion, try your best to get it out there and to let people know about it because genuinely... I did a video on it the other day, or I've got a video coming up about five fan ideas that made it into Fortnite Battle Royale. And genuinely, guys, if you have an idea, say it, because you never even know. It may actually be added into the game. So, yeah, that's why I do these kind of videos. I know that you guys enjoy them, and I certainly lo love talking about the game itself. So, uh, yeah, I hope that you guys agree with some of the things I've said in today's video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and upvote this, share it around, and, uh, yeah, I guess just have an awesome day. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. And, uh, yeah, enjoy the gameplay in the background. Until next time, I mean Star Lord. Oh, see ya. Thank mm -hmm. you.